one of the unintended but positive side consequences of social distancing and lockdown, if you're in lockdown, is that all of a sudden we have more time on our hands. So this has been a question that a lot of people have asked me over the last few weeks, Lee, what do I do with this additional time? There are kind of two almost contradictory answers that I'm gonna offer here. And one is utilize the time effectively and productively to work on some projects or create habit change. And the other is to actually store up a little bit of that time just to have some downtime. So I'll address both of those in two different ways. I think firstly, let's utilize the time. What is a project that you've been wanting to do for a while, something that you would like to tick off your list that, so at the end of this time, you can look back and say, I use that time productively. I would also encourage you to set up some kind of family project together. Maybe it's a family jigsaw puzzle. Maybe it's family movie nights where each person chooses the movie of the night. Now is also a really good time to create a new habit. Most of us have some bad habits that we want to break. And when life is going the way it normally is, which is very fast paced and very overstructured, we tell ourselves we're going to create this new habit and we set a new goal and New Year's Eve when we're on holidays and it goes really, really well until we're back at school or work and we don't have the time to do it. So now, of course, is the time that we do and we can start creating those habits. There is a bit of a popular myth that it only takes 21 days to create a new habit. The science does not support that. It actually takes, on average, 66 days. Now, the other thing that I wanted to say to you, which sounds a little bit contradictory to using our time effectively, and that is, let's just use some of this time to chillax, as my 17-year-old son would say. This is a really stressful time. We are using our brain to its full throttle with with problem solving and learning new technology and new routines and uh, we are using our emotions to their full throttle to calm ourselves down to help our children navigate what's happening and so it's also an opportunity for us to use this time as downtime when we engage in downtime when we goof off we typically think that we are not being productive and that this is a waste of our time it turns out in the last 10 years that the neuroscientists have been able to show us that when we calm down and we're not in task mode, our brain actually is still operating uh, and it's operating in a different mode. It's called the default network mode. It's critical for us um, having memories, putting our memories down into our memory trace. It's critical for our emotional health. It's critical for our sense of self-awareness and who we are. And I think right now in the corona times, it's really good for us to zone out, do something relaxing, trigger that alternative system, the default network mode, so it can go into play and it can help us to calm down. It can help us to have that self-awareness, that additional self-awareness that we need. One of the things that I would really encourage the parents to do at the moment is intentionally structure in some downtime for your children because when you are letting them goof off and relax and have some downtime, you think that they're not using their brain productively. And the truth of the matter is that when they are zoning out and they're having that downtime, there's a different part of their brain that's being triggered. They're being, their default network wakes up and their default network helps them to feel calm. It helps them to emotionally process what's happening right now with coronavirus. And it helps them to consolidate the learning they've done during the day and form good memories. The metaphor that I use, it's like, if you have way too many apps open in your phone or open on your computer and everything kind of slows down and then when you you shut down each of those apps and you clear your phone and you clear your computer it's much fresher and it's much faster and it's the same thing for our brain and for our children's brain so helping them to shut down all of those different apps and using the extra time that the coronavirus has given us through social isolation and through lockdown in a way that provides some downtime for your children.